once again, welcome back to the flat. Right, well, good afternoon, everybody. Once again, welcome back to the flat. Just there, uh, doing a little bit of. Tidying up, tidying up around the back here. Um, what I've been doing is just put the, put a basic frame up, just a little wigwam, water end. As I say, I'm at the, at the back of my home here. I've been trying to get my greenhouse sorted out for the last week, but uh, I'm finally getting there. Bit at a time. What I'm doing wrong here is say, uh, well, I want to plant some outdoor tomatoes. As they put it, just put a basic frame up. That's all. Just a wigwam. Of, uh, it's easy enough to do. A couple of cans here, I say. A couple of stiffeners. And then your, your cane's in the middle, and it's uh, you've got yourself a perfect frame for, uh, for putting tomatoes in. The tomatoes I'm putting out here are my favourite ones. If you remember last week on the pot, I showed you, and that's uh, they opened the garden last week, and they're absolutely spot on, first class. And of course, this is a perfect time because we're in the first week in June, nearly a second week in June, and it's, it's absolutely spot on for putting out the outside tomatoes. Now what I've been doing with these, I brought them down. Um, I brought them down Saturday, I think it was Friday or Saturday from the plot, and been putting them in of an evening in the greenhouse and then bring them back out through the day, in out, in out, shake it all about as I say, and it hardens them off. It gets them nice and it gets them a, a, good, a really good temperature, ready for just for bringing outside. And the weather, spot on. It's uh, it's a bit cloudy, but intermittent sunshine, but it's it's nice and warm. And it's spot on for planting these out. We've got no rain on the horizon, no heavy storms, no gales forecast. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant these out today. And it's it. It's an easy enough job. I've got all my tools. As I say, I, uh, I brought these down from the plot last week. And the first thing I did is to go around them all and just nip off all the suckers. Because as I say, once, you, once these, these start, big boys start growing, <coughs> they've actually got a first truss on there now. A lot of people say don't plant your tomatoes till you get your first truss on. Me, I've never bothered. I've always waited till I get a good structure and once a pot's full of root, that's when I like to plant out. But there, uh, perfect, look at that. Absolutely spot on them. Um, it, it's what I keep saying to everybody. You get your timing right. I mean, these were just planted cold in a cold greenhouse. No heat whatsoever. Um, end of March, beginning of April, I planted these. And they just slowly tick away. I don't think we started potting them off into their little cups until the uh, end of April, into May. And then right through May, they've had, a, they've had another potting off into a half, in, half pint cup. And then the big square ones, the nine centimetres. And uh, that's, the, uh, that's the result. Just patience, that's all it is. Plenty of good compost and pot off when they need it. No good hurrying them to get them outside into the, into the, into the garden or hurrying them to get them in the polytunnel. I've still got um, tomatoes I'm going to plant out the night in the polytunnel. But me and Roger did this morning, we went up at uh, 6 o'clock this morning, we up the garden and we dug all the Winston potatoes up out of the uh, 100 foot greenhouse. Marvellous crop, I'll show you some of them when we get up there. Absolutely fantastic. So Winston's definitely on my list again for next year. But um, what it's allowed us to do is that we've cleared the land off, a bit of muck on it, and what it's allowed us to do is to get the last of my tomatoes planted out, which I'll be doing up there this afternoon. We'll, we'll incorporate that in the video. Now, of course, as I say, um, outdoor tomatoes, Ailsa Craig, I grow them every year. Can I go past them? Good old British variety. No fancy. Nice deep hole. Sit them in there. Just don't know where it was in the pot. Yeah, get a tire straight under them. What I will do is I'll give them a good drink of water. There's another one out there. As I say, I've went right round. I was on about the other day about the suckers. You get lots of suckers now, even the bottom leaves, I can take the bottom leaves off and I can plant it down a little bit deeper if need be. So, I always leave them top suckers on. Some little beaners, sometimes they go blind and you want to allow that sucker to grow on into the, the header plant if you do if you do lose the top. It sometimes happens with tomatoes, but uh, not very often. Once again, our soil's really dry because I've got overhead hanging shrubs right over here. 
but that's going to give us all the protection I need. We're not right out in the open. The well sheltered. The label in there. So I don't have to remind myself on what variety these are. I put the same ones in every year for outside. It's the only ones I would grow outside as the Elsa Craig. In a Absolutely spot on. Now that big sucker there, that can come off, you can see straight away. That one can come off. Another, and a few other top ones, just let them grow on. And once again, it's first class little truss here. And we'll pop him in there. There we are. There's a bit of bone meal on here. Got a bit of water. And there's where outdoor Tom's in. Now as I say, that's east over there, so it's saving with all the easterly winds. That's south up there. The sun rises over from east to west here. And that's on the sun most of the afternoon here. I'm not getting the morning because as I say, I've got a big fence along here, I've got the house here. Um, so I'm gonna lose it in the afternoon. I'm gonna lose it in the morning, but I'm gonna gain it from 10 o'clock in the morning right around till 8 o'clock at night. And uh, these will be spot on, they'll grow away really nice. Strong little frame on there, I'll just let them grow away. I'll probably be tying them up next week. I'll give them a good soak of water. Spot on, they're getting there. My nettle crops come on fantastic. I'll, uh, I'll show you, I'll turn a little way around on the uh, on the video. But uh, the nettle crops are really cool. absolutely marvellous. That's it there. I'm going to start cutting that back. And uh, what I'll do next week, I'll take a load up the plot and we'll start them on nettle juice. Um, because I want to cut the barrel loads that made up. There's my me, uh, me compost bins along here. I've got six big builder's bags and I can make as much compost up as I want with all the grass cuttings and brown uh, uh, brown compost that comes out the house. Uh, manure, I've been to stables this morning, a few bags of muck um, because uh, what I intend to do when we get up the plot, we're going to dig them garlics up, the first of the smaller ones, because I want them three bins to uh, to get some back in them. Um, I've got uh, courgette still to plant. Tomatoes the plant, sweet corn to plant. So we're going to be really busy over the next couple of days. But uh, anyway, as I say, that's, that's the outdoor tomatoes done. That's the Elsa Craig in. I've got another three to put in there. So we'll uh, we'll finish it off later on. That's some, that's some sitting there. I've got some red cabbage in along here. And uh, I've got pots all the way up the side there. Looking good at the moment. We're going to, we're going to use up a bit of, a bit of the spare land. Um, just to get a few crops in. But I'll finish this off this afternoon before I've got the plot and then we'll, uh, we'll carry on where we left off. Okay, so I'll see you all again soon. Right, oh, last job of the day. Oh. Before I knock off. Well, the main things I was doing at the beginning of the week was trying to get most of the baskets sorted out, which I've managed to do. Most of the bedding, getting the, well, our last is a little bit of bedding that I've done. Uh, as I was saying when I was pointing out a couple of weeks ago um, when I was potting off and uh, I like to pot off in twos and threes and uh, that just goes to show you uh, if I, I can grab one of these out it just gives you an idea um, how I like to do my um, as you can see there absolute solid mass of root and that's lovely little clumps Hate putting off singly, all twos and threes, whether it be lobelia, petunias, the, um, petunias, is, um, swan river daisy, begonias, anything, all twos and threes, and it uh, makes it worthwhile this player. Lizzie Lizzie's, exactly the same, only difference is, is little bits of weed growing amongst it, and of course, with the old compost, that can be expected. Let's put that on there. Tease it out. That'll go in the uh, rubbish bin, the weed. Pull them out, like they say. Perfect little plants. Just nice for putting the baskets. That's another, another job done. And of course, the well deserved beer. Yeah, what I want to crack on with uh, this video 
It's chopping and topping. You can see all my baskets are in now, so I can concentrate on the veg. Um, the greenhouse is absolutely chopper. Uh, all the tomatoes are done, all steep up. I've got the um, Toro Rosso peppers down here, so I think this is going to be the first ones. Bring one of them out just to show you. There we have it. That's a perfect little specimen. Now, what I like to do with my chilies and my peppers, I like to stop them. But with the Toro Rosso, that's the height I want. And of course, it's already broke away from the main stem, it's already branched. So I'll not stop them, I'll just let them go. And of course, there's little immature peppers just come on there. So I'm quite pleased with them. The only thing I've got to do here. Clean away the bottom because when I repot them up into the bigger pots, I just like to make them that little bit deeper, and that way the roots will grow from the side of the stem and give a nice little strong plant. But to me, that's a perfect little plant, and that's only February sown in gentle heat, not too much heat. Um, a lot of people try and rush them on too quick, uh, in my mind, and they get large plants. And of course, when it comes down to plant no time, and um, April and May, it's freezing cold and uh, I just get a setback. So I just like to take my time, you know me, just slow and easy, and that's a perfect little plant. So, what we'll do tomorrow when we get ourselves up the plot, I've got to start in the garlic, we'll lift some garlic, and of course, we'll grow into the chilies, and I'll have to stop some of the chilies. The Toro Rosso is fine, but six of these in here, they've all broke from the top, so I'll not need to bother any of them. Yeah, the American bell peppers, I'll have to stop them, then I've got the long jaw chilies, which are grow quite big so I'll, I'll nip the tops of them but I'll show you in the video tomorrow how I like to do them. Um, still loads of planting out to do. Well, I've been up there the night uh, again for three times a day I've been there and uh, I managed to get a few of the peppers uh, sorted out up there. I managed to get uh, some more tomatoes soon. This is a grow the titties do up the main bed so I'll show you tomorrow some of the um, some of the Winston potatoes that we've got absolutely marvellous. Fantastic crop. So that's uh, definitely on my list for next year. Oh, that's well deserved. So, just sitting in my back garden, admiring the view, all the roses are out, and it's a cracking evening, so I'm just going to knock off. You can see I'll get up the plot tomorrow, and uh, we'll get started chopping these chilies and chopping the peppers. Chopping and topping I'm going to call this video, because that's all we're doing. We chop the tops off. Okay, so I'll see you in the morning. That afternoon. Okay, right, well, good afternoon. Once again, we're back in the plot, and I'm hopefully going to finish the video for this afternoon. Uh, I popped in yesterday just to show you what was going on with the peppers and chilies. You see, we're trying to get as, as many cut back as we can, but unfortunately, yesterday afternoon, in between videoing, I got stopped again, had a couple of visitors come, so I stopped videoing, and uh, I've come back out again the day to finish it off as I say most of the green is up there are full of tomatoes now champion uh, down home full of tomatoes got my chilies got my peppers in there got a couple of cucumbers and what I've been doing the day I've made another mix up this morning had to go to one water outlets and try and get some uh, some compost but the um, humax is now finished with we're kind of get no more so I've had to get some clover compost I've never used it before uh, but uh, I'll try it anyway I've tricked Mix it with a bit of horse manure, and that'll go in the pots for the cucumbers. I showed you the cucumbers yet at the beginning of the video. Absolutely spot on, first class little plants. So what I'm going to do, I'll make a big mix up tomorrow, put them in their, in their buckets, and get all the, all the cucumbers, all the chilies, and all the peppers potted up this week, and then that's hopefully, that's a finish of the potting off. Uh, one of the jobs I, I wanted to get done, I've just been planting up these boxes, and I needed to get these out, yeah, because I've still got plants to go in these. I've got the um, courgettes, yellow courgettes, zucchi, and I've got some green ones to go in. And of course, the first job to do, as I say, it's absolutely spot on that. Get the garlics out. Really, first class little cloves. And all you've got to do with these is just pull off the first set of skins. Um, June's the time now. It, it depends on when you planted your garlics. I like you get them in, in September. Get them well in. September, October at the latest. You can plant up till Christmas if you want, 
but then again you're gonna end up with a smaller you're gonna end up with a smaller bulb but uh, these are absolutely spot on these are the small um, Isle of Wight and I've grown these for quite a few years what we've got in there we've got some of the big jumbo ones some of the elephant garlic but they're in the pots and uh, what I'll do is next week when I start the video off I'll, um, I'll empty some of them out but, uh, there we are that's, that's just the first three out absolutely spot on I'm not a garlic lover myself but I do like a little bit of my soups and my stews but uh, they smell absolutely beautiful so that's uh, what we're, we're on about for the week we're talking about um, one of the lasses was talking about the onions starting to bolt the jap onions now if you remember when I planted mine I always tell people even in the winter I've been watering my onions and people say to me why are you watering onions in the winter well you can't get dry spells in the winter two or three weeks of really dry spells and then onions are going to bolt believe you me they'll send up them shoots so best ways to do is just nip the tops off them throw them down but with these when they're, they're not bolting they're going to seed they're doing it naturally this is June this and this is when they're going to send up but these are scapes they're not they're the seed head just the same from the garlic and um, these actually they're, uh, they're worth a weight in gold down London because you use them in a lot of culinary devices and um, a lot of cooking down there shell frying or blanching or whatever they do with them uh, like, they're a light garlic taste but they're uh, quite a delicacy down there so hey just let your scrapes go it doesn't do any harm to the bulb just letting them go people say it takes the goodness out of them uh, it stops them from growing it doesn't garlic's doing what it naturally does it's just going to seed it this is a month for it to finish June so get your garlics up and get them hung up in the shed I've got all this box to clean out so this is me my last job of the night hopefully it's uh, it's 25 to 5 it'll take us another 10 minutes quarter an hour to finish this off I'll just leave them all in the greenhouse where they're nice and dry on the floor and then tomorrow morning we'll come along and strip them down but uh, this box will be empty I'll have this filled tomorrow I've got yellow zucchi to go in as I say and I've got some green courgettes I've got one of the round courgettes I think it's called Gondo I'm not sure I was giving it from one last at the top there Roger hide that in that corner this morning so we've got them um, we've got these boxes all filled up <coughs> and what we're going to do we're going to put some early potatoes in here next year I've got the hoops on so I'm going to use the jazzy potatoes for in here put three rows in each one and uh, put the nets over and I'll be able to get a sheet of polythene over for the cold nights if we plant the, the early potatoes on the March time we'll certainly not be planting the same as what we're doing the polytunnels but as I say we've had some fantastic crops over there and we're still not finished yet we're still trying to fill it up um, I've got uh, cucumbers to plant into there I've got uh, marrows to plant into there uh, peppers and chilies to go into there and there's still loads of uh, hot enough to do outside here still got leaks to go in so it's a full time job out here just uh, trying to catch up on ourselves but we're getting there slowly but surely as I say of an evening when I come up watering takes 90% of my time up of an evening um, it's just as well for the weepy hoses because uh, what uh, Big John did last night for us he come across with a dog and uh, I had the pipe already outside and all my weepy hoses kicked it up and 9 o'clock last night turned it on I come back here half past six this morning it was still taking away taking the wheel and the whole beds both tunnels in the big hundred foot greenhouse was nicely soaking down just trickled away all night um, that's where I like to do it if I can get there uh, if I can get in the hose at nine o'clock at night that is because uh, the hungry gardeners up here but uh, not to worry as I say that's a garlic's out that's them um, finished with that's June get them out and we'll fill this up with uh, a few zucchi um, courgettes but there uh, we'll pop in here like I say we'll show you how to do the chilies how to top the chilies and that and then what we'll do we'll, uh, we'll start on the, some of the fruits again next week we've had some cracking strawberries off here but they're starting to throw the runners out so what I'm going to do next week I'm clearing one of the benches and I'm going to start bringing my strawberries out the ones that I've finished they've got a few fruits on them but I want them outside in the fresh air now I want them runners on and I want to start feeding them to get their nice big fat runners ready for uh, the end of this month the end of June I start pegging mine down and we'll have some lovely strong little plants by the end of uh, July ready to pot up into nine centimeter pots and then they're going to baskets in September October and it all starts again it's uh, just constant round and round in circles but if you want good strong plants for your strawberries next year 
uh, keep an eye out for the next video and I'll uh, I'll show you how we'll get, get our strawberries not placed outside but uh, anyway let's get in here and get these chilies finished I'll see you all again soon okay okay right um, nothing wrong with them I grew these a year ago the damage on that one because I caught it with a fork. I grew these a year ago after getting uh, a packet of seed given off a friend. Uh, I'd never grown them before and these are the Winston and I got some got some really good crops off them last year so I thought well I'm gonna keep, keep a few of the small ones and I kept enough as I showed you in the last week's video I kept enough just to fill this greenhouse here the big bed in the greenhouse and uh, me and Roger dug it up dug the bed up the um, the other day will come up really early in the morning because um, I had to get the last of my tomatoes in and of course you can see them up there I've got um, I've got 20, 20 tomatoes up there and I've got two rows of um, Virginia baggy over the far end there that's going to romp away that stuff in there um, but uh, as soon as we get the beds empty we like to uh, get stuck in and get them um, get the next crop in right chilies peppers Oh man, you get these potted up the other day. Once again, it's just my own compost. 3 2 1 mix. I use it for everything when I start the potting on, even under the main potting. And uh, these size pots, the little black buckets, are fantastic for the chilies and peppers. I've used these for years and uh, never fails us with a crop. Now, the ones down home, I've got the Toro Rosso down home. It's a long pointed horn pepper. They've broke. Uh, they're getting to about six eight inches and they've broke naturally yourself they've broken the heads have broken about three or four so i'm happy with them they'll grow on to get a crop and not get too big these are a different story these are chilies again these are the long long jaw chili once again just looking at the top and it's already broke away into two so i'm happy with that i'll leave them i'm not i'm not bothered doing anything with that at all They'll get potted up in a black bucket, just the same as this. I'm going to make the mix up today. And all they'll get is a cane in, and I'll just keep an eye on them. Because if they don't break, I'll break them myself. I'll snap the tops. Whereas these ones are a different story altogether. These look like they're not going to break anything at all. And these are the American bell pepper. So what I like to do with these, I like to make sure they've got a good six inches, at least six inches and a good six leaves on on the plant and then that's a perfect time just to go in just like you do with your croissants or anything else and just pinch the top out pinch it pinch the center growth out and what will happen is you see farther down there you've got little shoots in between these leaves so all them will start branching out so you'll get about three or four branches that'll hang the fruit but it will not be too tall. The idea of that is to stop it from growing sky high. I mean, these bell peppers can get two and three foot high if they've got the root system growing. Um, but in the pots, I like to keep them small because um, there's only a small amount of compost there compared to what there will be in the border. Um, I've always grown them in pots for, for years now because um, I simply haven't got the room in the borders for me to put peppers and chilies in. I'd much rather fill mine up with tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, stuff like that. Peppers and chilies are great for on your benches, but just make sure they don't get too tall. Um, if they think they're not going to break, just nip the tops over them like that. Then uh, they'll start shooting away from the sides. I'll pull that one over, I'll show you there. All I've got to keep doing here is to go around and keep weeding them out once a week because with it being my own compost, and of course there's a good bit of horse manure up being mixed in with it when we made the compost up. So uh, that, that in itself sets loads of weeds away. So that's a perfect little plant there. Absolutely marvellous. It's just starting to get a little flower on the top there. But unfortunately, chop off with its head. And that'll just shoot away nicely from the sides. Now, in a couple of weeks time, that'll be a first class plant. Plenty of breaks, plenty of side shoots. And it'll carry twice as much fruit as what it would have if I just left it grown on in one single stem. I'll work my way through these, get them all done, and then next week we'll get to 
We'll get rid of the last of the stuff off of the back here. I've still got a tray full of peppers in the back here, pot up, that I've just brought up. I've just noticed them, and I'm sure they're yellow bonnets. Yep, they're the yellow bonnet from uh, John Murphy. So I must get these potted up today, just into six, into nine centimeter pots, a little bit bigger, and then I'll just grow these on for another couple of weeks. And I'll actually, I, I might find one of the barrels outside. Um, I might put them in that barrel on the inside where I'm going to take the garlic out in there and get at least a good dozen in there. So I may put them in there. That's it. That would be an ideal spot for them. But uh, yeah, everything's going really well. That's more tobacco there to be planted out. Now, just one more thing before we go off. Cucumbers, there's my cues there. And they're absolutely dying to get out. They're choking. They're fantastic first class little plants. And these are one of my favourites. I think these are the Telegraph. Yeah, they're the Telegraph. I've got uh, Telepathy, I've got Telegraph, and I've got two um, American ones. Conchies and uh, market more that's a british one but that one's a spiky one you can grow that in a cold frame these ones i'll be training up the size i'll, I'll find some space in here to put them i'll put a few in the tunnel and uh, i'll put a few in pots and we'll grow them up the top end of the greenhouse but uh, as i say cucumbers i love, I love growing these in their uh, that's when you know you've got a really good plant once again exactly the same with the tomatoes seedling leaves are still on so they've had no check whatsoever They've just been grown on at a perfect rate, nice and slow, pull it out. That's a first class little plant that, and that, that'll be planted out tomorrow. I'll give them a good watering tonight before I plant them out. But there, uh, everything's grown well. I'm, I'm really pleased we've had there. Uh, we've really had a struggle on the last couple of weeks because the weather's been that changeable. We've been trying to get planted outside, trying to get pot enough done inside, trying to get tomatoes done, trying to get work done out, you know. There's lots been going on, so it's really slowed me down this week. Yeah, uh, this last, last fortnight anyway. But uh, hopefully we'll get uh, we'll get cracking, we'll get stuck in, we'll get all these planted out. These will go into beds or pots. By next week, all the chili should be potted up, so they'll all be on that on that benches. We'll just put little trays underneath them. Uh, watering, <coughs> watering is one of the main things with cucumbers. People uh, people just get over anxious with with cucumbers and uh, the, the water far too much. If you water a cucumber, always try to water from down below because they hate it. Um, they get neck rot, especially around the tops of the pots here. I mean, you mind that's just sitting in the tree there and I just water the tree. If you start watering the top of the pots, that's why you see my pots, they're always right to the rim. And people say, well, you're not getting much water in there. Well, I don't want water in there because I don't water in there. I water from down below. If you're watering from the top, just make sure you've got a constant moist soil, otherwise they catch it at the neck there where, where it joins the compost and uh, you get neck rot, forget about it. You have a perfect flat one day, you come back and next will be as flat as a pancake, lying on the ground and you can't do nothing with it. But uh, as cucumbers and all the squash family are exactly the same. The, uh, the courgettes, your melons, I've got my melons in there, I've just potted them up yesterday. So I may be doing them next week. I may, um, I'll put the grow bags in a melon house and I may set my melons out. Um, I've got rain culture pots, but I'll, I've got three grow bags and I'll put two melons in each grow bag. Uh, set them on the on the rain culture pot and plant the melon into there then I can water the grow bags from the bottom. Once again, melons, same as cucumbers, I don't water the top, I'll water the grow bags. Once I get them roots down in the grow bags, and then I can water the grow bags and that takes any of the moisture off the top of the plant and so they don't catch a neck rot. Easy with cucumbers. I never set them away too early. Middle of April is fine for me. Uh, I know it's only in the first week of June, one in June now, and uh, they're just getting planted out now. But that's up here in the northeast. Um, stacks of time. I oh, just take me time with everything. I never try to hurry plants along, you know. Uh, they'll grow in their own way. These behind them, uh, we'll put these um, tomatoes in a fortnight ago. And already they're up to three trusses and they're just romping away in the compost i just love how they grow it's uh, it's a lot of hard work going on to say take the suckers off tying up and you know all the tedious jobs but you know that's part and parcel of the garden um if you haven't got the time for that and then don't plant as much uh, produce simple as that plant it outside where the weather looks after it but that's what we're hoping we're hoping we're going to get a couple of showers this weekend if not well Get the hose out and get the watering cans and do a bit of elbow grease. Start watering by hand. That's all we can do. So, well, I hope I'll give you a few tips this week again. 
Um, as I say, next week I'm going to try and get them, try and put them, cut rows of pot leaks in. I've got them sitting up there in the pot outside. The peach tree is doing great. Yeah, there's some lovely peach on here. I'll show you next week's vid. And uh, if I've still got any cucumbers left lying around, we'll do a, we'll do a little planting in the pots, and I'll show you how I like to get my cucumbers into the pots on the trays and then water from down below. Easiest pie. Okay. So, hope you've enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to comment down below. Um, if you can't wait for the videos, you can catch me on our Facebook page. It's uh, Jeff Foreman on the plot. Just send a friend's request and we'll, we'll get you signed up. Um, and you can chat with most nights on there. Most people. Right, okay, so I'm going to knock off and I'm going to get cracked and get stuck in here. Get a, that's them garlics dug, dug up first. That's my first job. And then I'll think about what I'm going to plant in there. Okay, so I'll see you all again next week. Bye for now.